Hey guys, Jason here. Yesterday Adobe released an update to Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6.4. The 2015.4 update seemed mostly geared toward the mobile versions of the app, but there are also a number of performance improvements for the desktop version, including faster thumbnail and zoom rendering, improvements to the auto straighten and upright, and faster panorama merging. But along with the update, there's the addition of a new tool I found quite interesting. The tool is called Boundary Warp, and it's tucked away in the Photo Merge Panorama Toolkit. If you're familiar at all with stitching panoramic images together, you know the pain and suffering that it is either cropping way inside the final render or fumbling around with content aware just to alleviate the irregular boundaries that happen during the process. This is where Boundary Warp comes to the rescue by analyzing the edges and very elegantly stretches and warps the boundaries to fit into a more panoramic crop. Now let's see it in action. Once you have the images imported into Lightroom, select the pano images and then go to Photo, Photo Merge, Panorama. This will build the preview and open it in the preview window where you will have the traditional panoramic options but now with the additional Boundary Warp tool. You can choose any strength from 0 to 100 and you still have the option of using the auto crop tool instead or in conjunction with each other. Once you're happy with the preview, hit the merge button and let Lightroom work its merge mojo. Once complete, you will have a complete separate file to work with moving forward as Lightroom creates a DNG file of the stitched pano. Now it's worth noting that this file is no way linked to the original files, so any edits done to them after the stitch will not affect the new DNG file at all and vice versa. That's it for this video guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for us and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our page. We'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.